My name is Connor Flynn and I'm from Cleveland, Ohio and I moved down to Florida looking for strange stuff and cryptids and treasure that I ended up here in the Panhandle, right by Mariana, Florida, where there's tons of caves, stump jumpers, and weird people. The skunk ape is the southern variant of Sasquatch and they say they're a little bit smaller but a lot smellier and they have been seen from the Everglades all the way here to the Panhandle. Some hot spots are Torreya State Park, the Green Swamp, Ocala, and of course, all the Everglades, right by Dave Sheely. The skunk ape down here is a lot different than the Pacific Northwest Sasquatch. As we've seen the pictures on the Mayaka skunk ape, Run! the creature looks a little bit more like an orangutan, and they're a little bit smaller down here in the swamps because it gets very hot. So everything in the wildlife is just a little bit more ready to embrace the heat. They do say that the skunk ape is a lot more aggressive down here. I don't know if it's because they're constantly being hunted throughout the year or they just have to adapt to the harsh lifestyle. There's a story here of the two egg stump jumper of a Shrek like creature that is very aggressive. And I have actually interviewed witnesses that have been ran out of the woods by this creature. For skunk ape footprints, they vary from three-toed all the way to six-toed. Down in the Everglades, you'll start seeing the three-toed and four-toed. Uh, I think that more adapts to the swamp and the water. A lot of them mostly are five-toed and very large. But us in Mayaka, we found a six-toed footprint. We found four-toed footprints here in Panhandle. So sometimes I think that just interbreeding between uh, the communities can also lead to deformities. It is hard for us to find evidence of the skunk ape. Everything about their being is about staying away from us. Their footprints, their hair, even the way they show up in light and in dark is meant to camouflage them. Some people think the Sasquatch has mystical abilities and that's not that far out. Of course, they say that they have infrasound and big cats also have infrasound. A lot of people also say that they have echolocating, kind of like whales and bats. So imagine them in caves or dense areas, how they could just really paint the grid in their mind. There is many stories of them living along the riverbanks here and digging deep inside the mud, very similar to alligators. Multiple people talk about a Sasquatch migration. I don't think that they have a set plan around the seasons, but they move around the land just like we do. But I definitely believe that some of the creatures from Tennessee will work south through Georgia here into the Panhandle. And we have seen it coming from Torreya State Park at the Apalachicola River, and they will follow that whole river down to the Gulf because there has been tons of sightings in the Apalachicola National Forest. So you gotta believe that these creatures are moving and mingling. A lot of people are flooding down to Florida in the past few years, and sightings are definitely moving up because there's more eyes out there to catch some weird circumstances. But then also, people are starting to impede on their territory. So yes, I think the interactions are gonna go up.